Equation of median. Given the triangle ABC with vertices ABC as minus 2, 0, 8, 8 and 4, minus 2 respectively. Determine the equation of median from A. Well, what is a median? Median is a line that joins the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side. So when we say determine the equation of median from A, that means a line joining from A to midpoint of B and C. This is what it means, right? Now let me show you how to do it and uh, I'll show you all the steps. And on purpose, I'm not giving you exact triangle on a coordinate system kind of, right? I'm just making a rough sketch here, which may be quite wrong, but serves the purpose. So, so I'll just make a standard triangle because in the test, we really don't have so much time to, you know, plot it and then do it. So let's, because the question is not to sketch or to find it graphically, right? So what we can do is just make a triangle. Triangle ABC, so start with your standard triangle ABC. So you can write ABC in clockwise order and put the coordinates in. So A is minus 2, 0. Let's put minus 2, 0 here. B is 8, 8. So let's write 8, 8 here. And C is 4, minus 2. That's perfect. Yes. Now, I know this line is going up, but this is 0 and this should have been lower. It doesn't matter. We just make a triangle, okay? And start working on it. If the problem is to sketch and find, then we have to be very accurate. So I'm just saying, do it like this, uh, not to, you know, uh, make mistakes, but to be practical. Okay. Now, so we got the points on our triangle and determine the equation of median from A. So as you know, what is a median? Median is a line that joins the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side. So from A, if I have to draw a median, then I have to find the midpoint, right? So the midpoint is, let us say this, and I'll call this midpoint as midpoint of BC. So I'm calling it MBC, correct? Now my median will be a line from vertex A to the midpoint. So that is my line. So I'll just draw a line here going through my median, right? So that's the line. And I'm interested in finding equation of this line, which goes from the vertex to the midpoint of BC, okay? So this diagram is only to illustrate and to help us do the problem, but it is not a real diagram to represent the points, okay? So be careful about that, okay? So here are the steps which I think we should follow to solve these kinds of problems. So first step is make a working sketch. Label it, that's most important. So that you understand what your points are and how to communicate, right? That's the whole idea here. And the second step should be understand the problem. So read the problem again. So once you read the problem, you know, given a triangle with these vertices, well, we label them all, determine the equation of median from A. Median is midpoint of the opposite side to the vertex given A. So opposite side is BC. So we find midpoint of BC. Opposite side, let me write, right? Opposite side, which is BC in our case, and we'll label this as MBC. And the formula to be used is, you know, X1 plus X2 over two times Y1 plus Y2 over two, correct? Use this formula and find the midpoint. Correct? Let's use it now and find the midpoint. So x is x1 values are 8 and 4. If you add 8 and 4, you get 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So you get 6 here. So midpoint is let me write 6 here, and the y values are 8 plus minus 2, which is 6, and divided by 2 is 3. So you get 3 here. So our midpoint is 6, 3. Correct. Now you know the midpoint and you know another point. So you know two points. 
So you can always write equation of a line, which is the median in this case, using the two points, right? So now write equation of median. Let me write median straight with vertex, which in case for us is A, which is minus 2, 0, and midpoint, right? Which for us is MBC, and the point we calculated is 6, 3, correct? And what equation should you use for this? You could use, well, you try to use y equals to mx plus b itself, okay? We'll try to use mx plus b. This is a standard equation and used by many students most of the time. Okay, so we'll use the same equation. So from here, how to find slope? So how to find slope? Because we don't know what slope is. So to get the equation, we need to find slope of above line. Is it okay? So what is the slope for the above line? The formula will be, let's say m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So our points are 6 and 3, correct? And minus 2, 0. So we'll use 6, y2 minus y1, so 3, right? 3 minus 0 divided by 6 minus minus 2, so it becomes plus 2, right? So we get slope of 3 over 8. So that's the slope for us. And now, so from using these two points, we got the slope. Now here, we can use one of these points to find the value of b. So we'll write find y-intercept now. So a lot of steps for you to do, right? So find y-intercept. So we can use y goes to mx plus b. We know the slope using slope, which we got, and a point, right? So we know the slope. Slope for us is, I should write 3 over 8, and the point, which could be a. a is a good point for us to use, minus 2 and 0, okay? So we'll find y-intercept. And let's do this calculation here. y goes to mx plus b, right? So y is 0 for us. So we'll write 0 equals to slope is 3 over 8, 3 over 8, and x value is minus 2, we'll write minus 2 plus b. Is it okay? Now from here, we can simplify and find b. So b is equal to, so minus 2, when it comes on this side, it becomes plus 6 over 8, right? I could write 6 over 8 and then simplify. Or I could even do here, divide 2 and 8 and get 4, right? So I get b equals to, let's simplify this now, 3 over 4. So b is 3 over 4 for us. So now we know b, we know m, and therefore we know the equation, correct? So then the next step is write the equation in standard form. That's not necessary though, okay? You could write the equation in, in slope-intercept form also. So we write standard form or slope-intercept form, okay? Sometimes it is mentioned in the question, so follow that. So we'll write our final answer, and that should be y equals to, what is the slope for us? 3 over 8. x, and what is b? 3 over 4, plus 3 over 4. Okay, now that is the answer, and we could leave it like this, or we could multiply, bring the terms together, and then write it in standard form also. So what I'm trying to say is multiply by 8 everything. In that case, you get 8y equals to 3x, and this will be plus 6. That is okay. And then from here, you can write 3x plus 8y minus 6 equals to 0. So that becomes standard form. But it's your option. Okay, Both are perfectly fine. So I hope you understand the steps which we 
d go through to find the equation of median. Equation for median is very helpful to find the center of the circle. Okay, so that is an exercise for you. Here we found the equation of median from A. Now your exercise is find all the three equations for medians from point A, which we have already found, another from point B, and then from point C. So once you do that, after that you find a point of intersection between all these three equations. All medians always meet at a point. Find that point. And you have to tell me what is the name of that point? What is it called? And how can we use this point in different applications? The importance or significance of this point. The point where all the medians meet. Okay, so that is an exercise for you to do. Right, and then we'll move on to the next. That is, we'll find other important points which are in our triangle. Thank you.